fx will be a decreasing function in 0 to infinity if f dash x is negative in that interval. f dash x is equal to ln of e plus x times the derivative of ln of pi plus x which is 1 upon pi plus x minus ln of pi plus x times the derivative of ln of e plus x which is 1 upon e plus x. All of this divided by the square of ln of e plus x. This can be written as e plus x times ln of e plus x minus pi plus x times ln of pi plus x divided by pi plus x times e plus x times ln of e plus x whole square. Now note that e, the value of which is approximately 2.7, is less than pi, the value of which is approximately 3.1. So when x lies in the interval 0 to infinity, we can say a couple of things. The first is that pi plus x, which is positive, times e plus x, which is positive, times ln of e plus x whole square, which is also positive, the product of these three numbers will be greater than 0. Secondly, since pi is greater than e, pi plus x times ln of pi plus x will be greater than e plus x times ln of e plus x. Now the first of these inequalities implies that the denominator of f dash x is positive and the second of these inequalities implies that the numerator of f dash x is negative. Therefore f dash x is negative when x lies in the interval 0 to infinity which proves that fx is a decreasing function in this interval.